Hey guys, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's actually a Monday and it is a public holiday for us in Australia, so I'm having a full day of filming and I'm really excited for it. So yeah, I have my little to-do list in this Hogwarts notebook. So I'm obviously starting my vlog. I have to film my fairy lead unboxing, which I'm just about to do first. And then I have to film my September wrap up, my October TBR. If I have time, I'm gonna try and film like a tag video. I wanna take some Instagram photos and then I need to edit last week's reading vlog and I need to edit the fairy lead unboxing for me to hopefully upload tomorrow morning. <laughs> Full day of booktube stuff, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But yeah, obviously to update you on what I'm reading. So I'm currently in the middle of Sadie by Courtney Summers. I'm really close to the end. I'm on chapter 32 of 35. It's really disturbing and it's really sad, but it's really good. I really love the format of the book because half of it is told in a podcast format and the second half is told from the perspective of our main character Sadie so it's just such an interesting format. I'm also in the middle of Bridge of Clay by Marcus Suzak. I'm on page 14 so I really need to make more progress because it's really long. Um, I'm really hoping to finish this within the next few days if possible just because it's coming out on October 9th so I want to read it before the release date and get my Goodreads review up and everything like that so yeah I really hope to finish this and yeah I can't really say how I'm liking it so far because I don't really know what's going on yet because I'm only 14 pages in <laughs> but yeah obviously this is the author of the book thief one of my favorite books of all time so I'm really excited for it um I haven't decided what book I'm gonna pick up after that but obviously you'll see throughout the week but yeah so I'm gonna get to filming now because I have a lot of videos to film and yeah <laughs> oh also I will say I just saw Tom tweet out my friend Tom from TJ Reads the Stars that I am really close to 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm more like, I just can't believe it. Like, what even? I don't know. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just so weird. <laughs> I just, like 10,000, like what? Like, anyway, okay, I, I can't express my thoughts right now, but like, I'm in shock. <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna get to filming. Okay, so I filmed two videos and I'm, Oh my goodness, it's okay, it's fine. No books were damaged. Yeah, so I filmed two videos and I'm going to have a quick outfit change, put my dark lipstick on because I'm going to film my spooky TV on. I'm so excited. Don't touch my hands because I did my nails. Okay, so I just finished filming and taking a few photos and I am exhausted. It is 2.14 and I've been non-stop filming since 10 or 11. I can't remember when I started, but yeah, so I'm really exhausted and my throat hurts and I've been talking too much. But yeah, as you can see, this is my Halloween-y vibes for my spooky TBR that I just filmed and I'm super excited for that and yeah anyway. Oh, I did finish listening to Sadie because I was listening to it while I was doing outfit changes setting everything up and stuff so I finished it and it was really good I actually really loved it it's definitely the best Sula I've ever read which like I said before I haven't read many so <laughs> but it is really good and um it was really sad as well obviously <laughs> the content is not happy but oh my gosh yeah it was really good oh my gosh my throat <laughs> so now I'm going to get my makeup off get comfy eat lunch chill out and then start editing my videos oh my gosh i'm excited to get comfy <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna do that now i'm so excited to eat <laughs> only jumper i ever wear Whoa. no you don't even wear that that often i wore it once okay so obviously penny looks like a video <laughs> she thinks she looks gross so she wanted sunglasses but this is an iconic well <laughs> <Not iconic. laughs> this is a massive <laughs> moment because i'm currently at I don't know if you can see, 9999 nine, nine, nine subscribers, so... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna refresh it. Oh my gosh, you're cool! 
I need a screenshot. Okay, wait, I'm gonna refresh it and it'll be funny if someone had subscribed. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, sorry, my throat really hurts, so I feel like I'm not showing as much appreciation because <laughs> it hurts to talk. No, think but... about it, 10,000 people out there. <laughs> I don't think you've even seen ten... Actually, you have, like in concerts, but you don't really, you know. But think about, like, in assembly in, like, high school. Oh my gosh, no. That's literally... That's how, much, how many people is that? That's, Our like... high school had, like, 800. We did not have 10,000 people. Yeah, 800. Yeah, 800 yeah, times. Yeah, putting it in perspective. Yeah, right. times. More than 10. That yeah. is so weird. 10 schools. That's... I kind of want, crazy. I kind of want someone to answer this guy just because it'd be funny. <laughs> I'm one of those 10 You laugh at it for two seconds and you'll be like, oh. Yeah, 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 get back yeah, yeah. Up there. Are you subscribed? Are uh, you not? I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> I am. Thank you. I said you were 8,000. Like, yeah. That's something you need to do before you're 19. Oh my gosh. Oh my, professionally. Just, just kidding. But <laughs> okay, well, it's not focusing, but he said, oh my gosh, I just noticed that you can Whoa! Oh my um, gosh. That's nice of him. Yeah. One of my oh, 19 things I is love to, you. to bake the ultimate birthday cake for myself. Oh, are you going to bake me a cake? No. You're going to bake the ultimate birthday cake for me. For yourself. Well, that's for my thing. birthday. Nice. So, like, it's going to look professional and then... Anyway, I'm going to say my proper thank you when my throat doesn't hurt, but... Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> no, wait, wait, let's just do thumbnails. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe like it. <laughs> Wait, I look too great. <laughs> That's gonna look really cool. <laughs> perspective. Hey guys, so it's Friday. I have been sick since Monday night. I think I mentioned that on Monday night my throat was starting to hurt. That led to a sore throat, which led to like a full-on cold. So I'm still not feeling good. So sorry if I sound weird. But I really wanted to film because I received my special edition Vicious Owl Crate box on Tuesday, I think. And I've been wanting to open it up this whole week. But obviously, I wanted to open it on camera and I was not feeling good. So I couldn't. But I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm still obviously not 100%, but I'm feeling a lot better. So I did work a little bit today and then I forced myself to put on some makeup because I really wanted to be a part of Cindy's video. She asked me if I wanted to be part of her response video to that newbie guy. <laughs> I don't know if you heard about that, but basically this guy came on booktube and said how he hates how booktube is filled with 20-something year old females who wear too much makeup and are overly excited <laughs> at me next time. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so she's making a response video which I'm sure is going to be like hilarious and so excited. At the end she's going to have a little compilation of like female booktubers who wear makeup and are overly excited. <laughs> And of course I wanted to be a part of it, so I forced myself to put on some makeup to be a part of that because I really wanted to. And I just love her so much, by the way. Definitely subscribe to her, I'll leave her channel up here and below and everything because she's amazing and she's hilarious and anyway. So yeah, I forced myself to do that. I also wore this top that says girls, girls, girls. I felt like that was fitting. But anyway, so I actually have three... <laughs> I actually have three boxes to unbox, so I'm gonna make it quick and it's obviously gonna be more casual because I'm sick and everything. So yeah, I have the special edition Outcrate box, which is for Vengeful. Sorry, did I say Vicious before? I meant Vengeful. Then I have the Illumicrate Magic and Mayhem, I think it's called, the VE Schwab special edition box. Then I have, I think it's the July Wizarding World box. That's from Loot Crate and Loot Crate is really being annoying lately, like I've had so many problems with them, but anyway. So let's start with the Outcrate one. So yeah, this is for Vengeful. So there's going to be a special exclusive cover for Vengeful in this box, as well as other VE Shop goodies, and I'm so excited. <gasps> red! Oh my gosh, this is... Oh yeah, because this is VE Shop's aesthetic. Black and red. Oh my gosh, I love it. So, this is the Vicious and Vengeful box. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh! Okay, so there's a candle, and this is from Wick and Fable, and this is Victor. And it's black. Oh my gosh, let's see how it smells. Even though my nose is blocked, so I probably can't even smell it. Ooh, yes, this is definitely like a masculine, dark, mysterious scent. I don't know what dark and mysterious smells like, but... Okay, I can't really describe scents right now. <laughs> Ooh, each candle scents were chosen with the help of VE Shop herself. That's so cool. I can't really describe that scent, especially with the blocked nose. It's making it harder, but it's really cool. Are you Team Victor or Team Eli? Okay, so there's also Eli. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So this is red. 
So can I just say I'm in such a better mood right now because I've been like sad this whole week because I've just been like sick in bed and this has really made my mood a lot brighter. Also filming the little clip for Cindy's video made me feel a lot better because I was like lip syncing. Ooh, this is like cinnamon -y. I think I prefer this. Oh yeah, this is definitely like a cinnamon cinnamon <laughs> autumn scent. Oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I think I am Team Victor in the book, but for these candles, I'm Team Eli. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, great start to the box. Oh my gosh, so we have some socks. So these are Night in the Cemetery socks, and they're red, and they have like skulls and bones and everything. Very cool. I think these are just an Outcrate. Yeah, these are made by Outcrate. I always love getting socks. Oh my gosh, is this going to be like a pillowcase or something? Oh my gosh. Yes! This is a pillowcase. Okay, so let's see. Oh my gosh, that's cool. So it says, plenty of humans were monstrous and plenty of monsters knew how to play at being human. Oh my gosh, I love these colours and this design and everything. This pillowcase was designed by Stella Bookish Art. Yes, and it's exclusive to this box. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm really happy with that. And then... <gasps> We have a little Eli and Victor pin. That's so cool. I actually don't know <laughs> which one's which. I forgot what they look like. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a notebook. That is so cool. So it says, you asked me if I ever wanted to believe in something. I do. I want to believe in this. I want to believe that there's more, that we could be more. Hell, we could be heroes. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Good quality. Oh my gosh. So this was created by Hey Atlas Creative. And yeah, it was inspired by Victor's love of blackout poetry because he always does this in books. Like, this is everything. This is everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I just got spoiled by two items because they were like poking up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we have this print of Victor and Eli. Oh, so it's the same print as the as the little pin. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. My V shop shelf is gonna be amazing. Might need to have like two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wait, I forgot to say who the print is designed by, sorry. So the print is by Melly Scribbles, as well as the bookmark. So this bookmark is Sydney Doll and Marcella. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cool. I love this, what's it called, this illustration style. <laughs> okay, so we have, <laughs> so we have this lip balm. It says Mitch's chocolate milk, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, it actually does smell like chocolate milk. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, I think the book is left. I'm so excited to see the different design, like of the cover. Okay, so this doesn't have an exclusive cover. I think that's the Illumin Crate one, but this is a first edition and it's signed. Oh, it's so cool. So this is, oh my gosh. Oh, yes, and it has this special page included. This is exclusive to this Our Crate box. Printed exclusively for Our Crate, so it has this print and V Shop signed it. That is so cool. It also comes with this letter from V Shop and this sticker. <laughs> my voice is starting to really hurt, but oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now, and that box was amazing. Oh, it has this little um, brochure. So it has a little interview with the V.E. Schwab. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, that box was incredible. I'm so happy. I honestly don't know what my favorite item. I think it might be the notebook. Okay, so my camera died, but I put on some ears because I realized that's a nice way to, okay, no, I need my jumper. I'm really cold on second. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, so I put on some cat ears because V-Shop is known for Acadias, so I felt like it would be fitting for the unboxing. <laughs> yeah, so we have the Ellie McCray box. This is Ma the Magic and Mayhem V-Shop edition. Obviously, it's not looking the best because the shipping label was on top, but I'm super excited. This is actually massive. Okay, let's open it. All right, I should probably show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry if this is like the worst unboxing you've ever seen because I just, yeah, I'm not feeling good. Like, I probably, I probably don't even look sick because my makeup and everything, but. Okay, yeah, so this is the Magic and Mayhem VE edition. Oh my gosh, the book is on top. Okay, it's in this sleeve. I'm not gonna look, but by the way, the sleeve, that's a really cool. I'm guessing that's, obviously that's one of the items, but I'll get to that soon. Oh my gosh, okay, so we have this pencil case. That says she bent most of the rules, she broke the rest. Oh my gosh, so this is obviously about Lila Bard from the Shades of Magic series, because yeah, this includes Shades of Magic items as well. And oh my gosh, this could be a potential annotating pencil case, or even a makeup bag. Oh my gosh, 
how exciting i love it all right so let's see who it's by designed by stella bookish art i love it i love the design yes 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 oh my gosh okay so we have this really cool tote bag that's obviously victor and eli right oh my gosh okay wait <laughs> So this is a double-sided tote bag, has artwork from Roma Tree. Oh, Shades of Magic inspired on one side and Villains inspired on the other side. So I'm guessing this is Victor and Eli. And this is... is that Lila and Kel? That's so cool though. I love this and I've been needing more tote bags because I want to avoid using plastic bags when I go shopping. So this is perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love the colour. Like, I love the sky and everything. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. Just know on the inside I'm way more excited, but I just can't fully show it. Oh my gosh, we... Oh my gosh, it's so cool. We have a scarf. Oh my... <gasps> so this is Shades of Magic. We have the four Londons. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to show you all of it. <gasps> that's so cool. Oh my gosh, what a good idea. I'm gonna wear this in the last live show, oh my gosh. For the Dark Shade Relogs. I'll try to find who the artist is later because I'm trying to look but I'm getting spoils for the other items so I'll look at last. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. So, wait, I'll open this first. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, okay, so we have this mug that says Captain of the Night Slayer, which is obviously Shades of Magic and I love mugs so I love that. Okay, I'll tell you the artists after I open everything because I'm getting spoiled. <laughs> okay, so we have a candle. Oh my gosh, okay, so this says A Darker Shade of London. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and has the four Londons, like, oh, this is so, oh my gosh, this box is amazing. That is so cool. So obviously it has red London, grey London, white London, and black London. Oh, oh, that's really cool. I love that scent. I don't, yeah, so it says bergamot, cinnamon, and vanilla. Oh yes, definitely. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's everything. Okay, I'm really happy right now. I feel like I can't express it because my voice hurts, but oh my gosh. And then we have this little vicious enamel pin, and it says, We are all immortal until proven otherwise. And this is designed by Fable and Black. I love pins, so I'm obviously happy about that. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, flick, yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. So we have... The Dane twins. I'm guessing this is, is this Holland? Yes, this is Holland, I believe. We have Kel. We have Lila. Oh, I think this is Rye. And I think this is Alucard. I might have got some of them wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's who they were. And I love these. These are so cool. And on the back, it's like this. Oh my gosh, I honestly am loving this. Like, this is honestly amazing. Okay, we have something in here. Water bottle. Oh, so it says Aztecen, really cool water bottle. I always need water bottles, so that's really freaking cool. <gasps> then we have this little key ring that says Aztravaz. Oh my gosh, I love it. It has like the four Londons. Oh my gosh, okay, so then we have all of these bookmarks. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I feel like this box has ev like so much, up so many items. Honestly, I'm so happy right now. Okay, so we have Lila and Kel and rye i think that's right who is this is this alucard i don't know sometimes i don't know what the characters look like unless i say heaps, heaps of fan art <laughs> and unless said description is constant okay i don't know it doesn't say who's who but these bookmarks have artwork by mer wild oh my gosh this is i'm overwhelmed and i'm feeling sick so <laughs> oh my gosh <gasps> oh my gosh okay so we have postcards for the four londons <gasps> This is so freaking cool. Oh my goodness. So it says, welcome to Red London. This is what the back looks like. And then it says, welcome to Black London. That's so freaking cool. This is the back. And then it says, welcome to White London. And welcome to Grey London. And that's the back of that. That is like, oh my gosh, I'm loving all these ideas. Like these, this is amazing. So these postcards are made by Maledro Craft Co. Okay, and then it just has this little photo challenge. Oh, and this little art print of Kel and Lila. I don't like 100% chip them. Like, I do like them together. I don't mind them together. But I do love this art print. Like, this is stunning. Oh my gosh. 
and I love the blue. And it has a little note from V.E. Schwab. Oh. Okay, time to see the exclusive cover. I'm so excited. So yeah, it comes in this pouch, which is obviously another item, and has the backup poetry. I'm so excited because this pouch is amazing, and I love how it fits this size hardcover perfectly. So let's see. Oh my gosh. This is stunning. So there were only 1,250 of these exclusive covers. So yeah, this cover is exclusive to the box. This is like a red version of the UK cover of Vengeful, which I have also ordered the original <laughs> UK cover of Vengeful, but this is so freaking cool and it has a ribbon bookmark. And it will be signed by V.E. Schwab herself. I can't be bothered to open it right now just because I'm really feeling sick, but... Okay, so this is my first Illuminate box and I'm so impressed. Like, we got so many items. I know I didn't say all of the people who designed certain items, but if you want to see who designed a specific item, you can just pause the video and read this. Okay, honestly, I can't even say what my favourite item in the box is. There's too many. Like, it might be these cards or it might be this scarf. Or it might be this, or it might be the candle, or the tote bag, or this apron. Okay, I don't even know. There's too many good items. I'm overwhelmed. I'm so happy right now. Oh my gosh. Seriously, 10 out of 10 to that box. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. Two amazing boxes after a sad week of being sick. <laughs> I'm probably going to save the Wizarding Worlds box for another day because I just really am feeling sick. So I need to go take my makeup off, get comfy relax. Let me know what your favourite item was because I don't know how you can choose because I can't. <laughs> I'm in shock at how good that box was. kind of wish I did like a separate unboxing when I wasn't feeling sick on my channel but anyway. <laughs> anyway so yeah I'm gonna go now. Peace. <laughs> hey guys so it's Saturday and I am feeling a lot better but I still am not 100% but I am glad that I'm feeling better because it's the Panic at the Disco concert tonight so I was freaking out that I wouldn't be able to go but I will be able to go. I just won't be able to like yell at the top of my lungs which I'm sad. I won't be able to fully get into it, but my throat still hurts. Today? Yeah, today's Saturday. Did I mention? I don't know. <laughs> so it's Saturday and my boyfriend and I are going to just hang out today and yeah, go to the Panic at the Disco concert tonight. So we're going to go to the shops right now. I'm going to get some food. I'm going to try and buy some Halloween-y stuff to decorate my bookshelves in my room, depending on how much it is. <laughs> oh yeah, get some Max Brenner. <laughs> Yeah, and then I need to relax more today, so I don't know if I'll be reading today. I do have a slight headache, so I don't really feel like it. <laughs> oh gosh. I haven't made any progress with Bridge of Clay. I've just been feeling so bad, and I wasn't really in the mood for reading. But I actually did pick up City of Ghosts, because this is on my October TBR. I really wanted to read it this month, and it's middle grade, so I knew that it'd be easier to read. And because I had a headache, I just wanted something simple. So yeah, I actually finished this. I read this in basically one sitting the other day, and it was so much- Ow! <laughs> and it was so much fun. Yes, yeah, so it was really spooky. It definitely gave me the, the spooky vibes, but it didn't quite meet my expectations. I still really loved it. I gave it four out of five stars, but yeah. I'll talk about it more in my wrap-up, just because it hurts to talk right now, but <laughs> um, yeah, so I finished this. And I also actually picked up the audiobook for Stalking Jack the Ripper because I, when I was sick, I just wanted to have an audiobook to listen to while I was playing my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> so I picked up this audiobook and I've actually made a lot of progress. I'm now on page 177. And so far, I'm actually enjoying it. Um, the audiobook is amazing. It's basically like a movie because it has like atmospheric music in the background. And it even has like, um, you know, if they're on a horse, it has like the trotting of the horse sounds. It's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I would did. So yeah, and I think because I went in with lower expectations, I'm enjoying this because, yeah, it's not as focused on, like, the actual Jack the Ripper story. It is, obviously, but not as focused as it may seem from the title. But, yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, and I really love how feminist it is, and I love... Yeah, I love the audiobook. I think the audiobook is definitely enhancing... Well, it is definitely enhancing the experience, I think... It's making me enjoy it a lot more. Anyway, so yeah, I'm really actually enjoying this. Um, oh yeah, I also uploaded my October TBR this morning. I'm really happy because everyone's commenting on my intro, which I'm really, I'm really proud of. <laughs> I loved it, so I'm happy that people are loving it. Anyway, we're off. <laughs> so we're nearly going to go to the Panic of the Disco concert. I've decided I'm just gonna go really chilled out because I still don't feel good and I'm gonna pack my tissues. I can't bring my camera, which is sad but I'm going to try and film some on my phone, so hopefully I'll include some footage, but yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> this is the pre-concert nap. <laughs> Yes! 
better I'm so happy I'm still not 100% but I am just feeling a lot more like myself yes I'm really happy about it oh gosh this week it was not pleasant so yeah I had the Panic at the Disco concert last night I loved it I loved it so much it was honestly phenomenal Brendan Yuri is like an amazing performer an amazing singer obviously I just love him 10 times more now like you know when you see someone live you, your love for them just grows most of the time <laughs> but yeah so I just yeah it was just such a fun night so glad that I went even though I wasn't feeling 100% it was definitely one of the best concerts I've ever been to it was just so good so yeah I actually did get two shirts so the first shirt I got was this I love the like retro vibe with like the writing on the side and yeah so this is the first shirt and it has the tour information at the back and then I also got this jumper and this was the last one, so I'm so happy that I got it because this is the one I really wanted. It's really cool. It says Panic at the Disco, Pray for the Wicked World Tour 2018 and has stuff on the sleeves. It's just so freaking cool, so I'm so happy I got that as well. But yeah, so I loved it. It was amazing. But I feel like I have a lot to update you on. So yeah, I'll quickly just say I actually opened up the Wizarding World Loot Crate box off camera because, I don't know, I just wasn't excited about it, so I was just like, hey, I'm not going to film it. Um, because yeah, like I said, I haven't had a good experience with loot crates, so that was my last box that had to actually get replaced because it got lost. So I finally got my last box, um, because I actually paid for three months, like at the beginning of the year. Otherwise I definitely wouldn't have got three boxes. But anyway, um, so I did want to mention two books that I got in the mail that I already opened during the week. So I got The Strange and Beautiful Stories of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton because... Hannah from The Clockwork Radar and Tom from TJ Reads The Stars love this book and I have similar tastes to both of them and Tom recommended this to me specifically. He thinks I'm going to love it so of course I trust him and I think I am going to love it. I know it's magical realism so I am super excited. Yes yeah, so I bought this and also my pre-order of The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy came in and I'm super excited about this. I love this purple spine but I am going to listen to this on audiobook in November because we are going to be 
doing a live show for this. We're going to have the same co-hosts that we had for my JJ read along and it's going to be on one of the other hosts YouTube channels. We haven't decided who's yet but I'll obviously be sharing more information about that once we have finalized all the information but I'm super excited for it because we had so much fun in the first live show in the first live show so we are going to be reading and discussing this in November. So keep her as pipped. <laughs> I realized I haven't done the quote on the blackboard yet so we have to do it. And please leave me your suggestions for, for me to do next week. Next level. Thank you so much Tom for suggesting the quote it is only with one's heart that one can see clearly which is from the little prince and this quote actually does have a lot of variations because the little prince is originally french so it's been translated so some people translate it differently um but yes yeah, so i love this quote it's one of my favorite quotes of all time and this is tom from tj reads the stars i told him how much he would love the little prince and he finally read it and he loved it so it makes me so happy and yes yeah, so i really wanted to do this quote and i'm I just love the little prince and I'm, I love this guy. <laughs> so anyway, I have just been catching up on rest and relaxing, doing other random stuff. So it is 3.23 and I do have basketball tonight. I'm going to try to play even though I'm not feeling 100%. I think I can play. So yeah, I'm going to have basketball tonight. So the plan for now until then is to try and read. I'm really sad because I wanted to get this done by this week because it's coming out on the 9th of October, which is in two days. <laughs> Actually, it's probably out by the time this video is up, but um, yeah, so I'm really sad because I definitely won't be able to finish this today. I am gonna try to read some of it, but I also did buy Mario Party yesterday, so, <laughs> and we played it yesterday and I'm really obsessed with it, so I wanna continue playing a little bit, but I am going to try to read some of this today. Yeah, I'm, I feel really bad, but yeah, I've just been sick this week. I haven't been in the mood for reading. Well, I have been listening to some of my audiobook and I did read the middle grade, but so I'm hoping to read some of this today. But I think I am going to um, wrap up the vlog now because I still don't feel the best and I just don't feel like talking. But yeah, I will wrap it up. And if I do have some thoughts to say, I might include a little clip, but probably not. So I'll just wrap it up now. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? Okay, so Cindy uploaded her response video to that newbie, booktube newbie guy who uploaded his tag like last week and he said all those misogynistic things. So she uploaded her response video and I was lucky enough to be a part of it and I love that video so much. It's one of my absolute favorite booktube videos. It's hilarious, it's amazing. I love Cindy so much. So I'm gonna link it up here if you want to actually you should definitely watch it <laughs> because yeah it's just it's fantastic and it has so much girl power and i love it and i love cindy and i love how she brought so many amazing booktube people together and it's just incredible so definitely watch it this week i finished city of ghosts by victoria schwab which i gave four out of five stars and i have been listening to the audiobook for jack the ripper by carrie maniscalco and i'm on page 177 so yes i will probably be finishing this next week and hopefully i'll have finished bridge of clay and i think i'm actually going to start a conjuring of light next week because i want to get cracking on that but yeah so let me know what you're reading i'm sorry if i've been a little bit boring because i've been sick so it's hard to talk properly but i still hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope you guys are having a good day or night and i'll see you in my next one